right, you're welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're right on time for our entertainment conversation. I have you with me, uh, a rapper, a reality star, winner, Big Brother Nigeria. 2017 F.A. Ejeba. Thanks yes, for being sir. here today. Yes, boy. <laughs> How have you been? I've been good, man. Took you long enough to come here. I've been trying to get you here. What, yeah. Why were you avoiding us? No, you know, it's not. everything's business, logistics, man. <laughs> so everything gets to get planned, you know, and you follow it gradually. But like I, always, I, like I used to always say, now, we're not the rush. I'm here today. Yeah. yeah. There's no difference between being here today and being. There's difference to, to me because of waiting I plan business and logistics. You've been you've been out of the house now for how long now? Five months? I never counted. <laughs> April, May, June, July, August, September. Six months. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you Between see then and now, you know, when you left the house and now, what's the biggest lesson you've learned? Uh, the biggest lesson I've learned is nothing is easy. That's the biggest so far. At every stage, you you find more challenging things to handle. You know, when you were there without cash and no fame, we were having challenges like how to chop that three square meal and how to get your, your, your craft out there. But now you are at a level where, to some certain extent, you've gotten your craft out, but you still need to push further. Just like I always say, to every level, there's a devil. And that's what I've seen. I just always wonder that people, how people like them don't go to school. Because for me, I just feel like, is that I wake up, I feel I've not done anything. Some people say I'm ungrateful, but me, I, I hate complacency. So I try as much as possible to beat myself. Like I always say, my greatest pressure comes from me, not from anybody else, because I have my standards. Do you think you put too much pressure on yourself sometimes? Yeah, I do. Because it's something I've... I noticed this is why you went in the house, and I kind of see it whenever I talk to I you. I do. That made me they look older than my age. <laughs> <laughs> always, always. It started from, from when I was a kid. It's always been like that up yeah. to now. I just tend to put pressure on myself because I think it's the reason why I, I take life very simple because anything you have attained, it's not, it's not important again. Not really that it's not important, but it's more like I've done it. So what's the next challenge to conquer? And that's what will keep you waking up in the morning and be bothered. The day you wake up and you don't have any problem, you're not there alive, nobody this edge you did. Yeah. Check well. Because when you wake up, you always have challenges to meet. Some is time, maybe to catch up with some meetings. Some is certain things you just want to do, certain projects, whether it's music, whether it's um, other side hustles and stuff. So that's just it for me. Yeah. When you were going into the show, I'm sure you had a lot of dreams, you know, things you wanted to do when you left the house yeah. and everything. Has it been worth it for you? Was it, was it all you thought it was going to be when you left the house? To be honest, eighty percent it was because before the Big Brother house, I I always felt I was prepared. The thing is, I've always hoped or I, I had that that belief that I was going to blow very soon. You understand? So I prepared myself how to think in a very positive way because when you're exposed to people, different people have their opinions as to how to direct your life. So I always thought because I see those banter's coming from. from a celeb and his fans. So by, back then, I'd be like, oh, well, this guy is wasting time. Oh. So far, you didn't make your cash. No worry about this guy. This guy might just be at home, just Twitter finger. I used to call them Twitter fingers, like just writing whatever it feels like. I might be coming from a point of frustration of him saying, you are this place, you have this opportunity, you're not using it as much as you should. Mm -hmm. If not midday, I'll do better than this guy. So it comes from that level of frustration. And once you understand that, I think you wouldn't have a problem. And that it goes as regards to how I operated my social media before the house. I ensured I didn't have any serious scandal kind of statement addressing any issue or any fellow celebrity because I always knew that one day that guy might be my friend and I might understand where it's coming from, yeah. basically for me. You talked about our fans then. You're getting a lot of hits from your fans, aren't you? So yeah, 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 yeah. Instagram, yeah. Twitter, yeah, 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 yeah. your page, there's a lot of... Yeah, yeah, it's normal. Yeah. I, think, I think probably the perception I was creating in the house showed me as a very vulnerable person. That's not when you come out. Like I always said, people perceive humility to be someone that's vulnerable you can toss around. That's the way they see it. So, plainly, as I'm out, like, oh, this guy knows anything, he'll do it in life. So, move direct now. See where he go do go. You understand? If you actually check the, the antecedents before then, you'll fear the guy. So, Bob, no underrate this guy. Mm -hmm. You get. <laughs> But we'll leave that aside. That's just it. You should expect the day fans stop discussing your matter, you are, that's the end of your career. Do you feel you owe them anything? Your fans? Oh, oh, oh. Let me be diplomatic here. Yeah. <laughs> because if you leave me. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly. No, on, on, it, it's, it's, it's how I put it. It's a, it's a paradox. 
I do owe them at the same time I don't. That's why I call it the paradox. I owe them because these are people that actually say, you must win. They supported you all through. Uh, and so they, 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 they went out there, they, they put out their sweat, their, their finance, different things. Some quarreled with their friends. It was that deep. So I think I owe them to a certain level because these things are emotions running. And some people think, you, at the end of the day, you're, you're now a, a, a pawn or a tool for their bragging rights. They may use you as a point of reference. See, person who are supposed to win now, you get. So once you're not going in line with them, they are scared of their own ego being hurt. But that's, that's that. So I think I owe, to, owe it to them to that level. On the other side, why I don't owe it to them is that Nami carry myself, come here. As in Nami go to the house before you see me say you like me, you understand? <laughs> and I'm normal. If I wasn't in, in that house, you must like somebody it's by default. Mm -hmm. remove, remove a fear there. There were other housemates. You will, there'll be somebody else you would like, and you would have voted for the person. So that's just it for me. Do you think winning was a good thing? Uh, honestly, it comes with a lot of baggage, I'm sure. Yeah, it 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 it, it, it does as in, it does come. Uh, it, it does come with a lot of pressure. Um, but bottom line is, honestly, winning is my way. <laughs> no, I don't I don't ever picture myself not winning. It just just that digitality thing. I don't I don't know if there's negativity around like. Yeah. You know, you know most things. The shout out to my manager, who's my brother. He does the analysis and he, he goes into the reality. I'm that type that says, I did do my tour on October 26th. I, the process to get there, not be my problem. I just know that on this date, it's going to happen. I'll walk towards it, but I'm working with it with so much positivity because you know when you when you're going into tours like your business, like the, other people are included, but I don't see them as as a, 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 a variable, I see them as constants in the sense that it's positive. Whether this guy comes on board or he doesn't, if he is going to do his stuff. And that's the way it works for me. So when I say winning is my mentality, it's, 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 it's how it has been for me. I've always, if it's in academics, I try to be the best. So when it comes to the, the entertainment music, I try to my best to be the best. And shout out to Kevin Pan, by the way. I think he first launched that winning spirit in me. Because what's, what, what most people don't know, they sit down and say, what has Kevin Pan done? See what Kevin Pan has done. You know, he won Big Brother, he came, he gave us a platform and just, so I won the, uh, just bring it on, a music talent reality show. I won the rap, best rap category. 